For private space companies, commercial contracts from investors are considered the lifeblood to sustain their companies and propel their major projects. SpaceX is no exception as they act like a magnet that attracts the most lucrative contracts in the U.S. aerospace industry. Most recently, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has accomplished something that many companies in the same industry could only dream of. And that is winning the first big U.S. Space Force contract for the Star Star Shield system, which is something that will change everything about the significance of SpaceX in terms of the broader military vision globally and specifically for the United States. So stay tuned as we dive into this in greater detail on today's episode of Alpha Tech. In a huge development, SpaceX has just secured a year-long contract with the U.S. Space Force known as Star Shield. This is not an ordinary contract as it's the company's first major contract with the Pentagon catering to the United States military with unique terms and conditions not present in previous commercial contracts. This 70 million US dollar agreement marks a significant collaboration between the private aerospace company and the military, solidifying SpaceX's position as a key player in the defense sector. Not only that, the contract extends its reach to various branches of the military, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, reflecting a comprehensive partnership with the US Space Force. What adds a layer of intrigue to this venture is that SpaceX's utilization of its Starlink satellites will fulfill the objectives outlined in the contract, including providing user services through the Starshield constellation, user terminal equipment, auxiliary equipment, network management, and other related services. The Starlink constellation, known for its global broadband internet coverage, will now play a crucial role in supporting 54 mission partners associated with the military. SpaceX is actively competing with 15 other companies for a share of $900 million in U.S. government work orders through 2028 as part of the U.S. Space Force's proliferated Low Earth Orbit Contracts program. So the question being asked here by myself along with many others is why among dozens of satellite companies did the military agency choose SpaceX to perform the first mission? News of the contract has emerged after a period of intense scrutiny of SpaceX's role in Ukraine where it has provided internet connectivity to the country's military as it attempts to fight back against Russia invading forces. To be honest, officials recognized the importance of Starlink when SpaceX announced the discontinuation of full services at such a critical time for Ukraine's self-defense. This has been criticized heavily, with many opinions suggesting that Musk turned his back on Ukraine and turned to engage with Russia. However, that is far from reality. This has happened before, and we can note that Musk is not in favor of using Starlink for conflict or war purposes. Musk also clearly stated his position, saying Starlink needs to be in civilian network, not a participant in combat. Starshield will be owned by the U.S. government and controlled by DOD Space Force. This is the right order of things, he said on September 27th. In Walter Isaacson's recently published biography of Musk, the author reported that last year, Musk refused to extend Starlink coverage to Russian-occupied Crimea, hampering Ukraine's military operations. SpaceX's president, Gwynne Shotwell, in February, said Ukraine used Starlink services for applications that SpaceX did not support. It was never intended to be weaponized, but the Ukrainians have leveraged it in ways that were unintentional and not part of any agreement, she said. Starlink's role in the conflict has inadvertently concentrated a great deal of geopolitical power in the hands of Musk. Even though Musk is not technically a diplomat or statesman, I felt it was important to treat him as such, is how one policy official described his approach to the SpaceX founder. Furthermore, the role of Starlink has also been highly praised by Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Senator Jack Reed, emphasizing its significance to the security of the United States. We've got a look at the broader satellite markets and the role of government outsourcing, the outsized role Mr. Musk and his company have taken on here, and the Pentagon's actions and contractual arrangements. This is why, once the Starshield Network is deployed, it will undoubtedly be a key military asset for the United States. However, it's essential to remember that even with Starshield, despite being considered a military satellite, SpaceX may only intend to use it for defense and protection rather than for offense and invasion purposes. This is also evident as Lieutenant Colonel Colonel Omar Villarreal, a Space Force spokesman, mentioned in an email that the Starshield contract is for a service, but how SpaceX or any other company provides that service is up to them. In fact, 
fact, Starshield is composed of satellites in low Earth orbit, which are poised to deliver diverse functionalities. This includes, among other things, high-speed broadband, space situational awareness, and alternative solutions for positioning, navigation, and timing. Starshield's central areas of focus revolve around Earth observation, communications, and the hosting of specialized payloads, as elaborated on its official website. It will leverage the identical broadband technology utilized in the firm's Starlink satellite network, albeit with a specialized focus on governmental applications primarily serving the U.S. military and its affiliated agencies. Unlike Starlink, which serves consumer and commercial needs and boasts the world's largest satellite constellation, Starshield is exclusively designed to bolster national security initiatives. Starshield will provide enhanced cybersecurity compared to standard Starlink satellites. It will incorporate advanced cryptographic capabilities that ensure higher levels of security, allowing it to host classified payloads and process data securely thereby meeting the stringent security standards required by government agencies. Nevertheless, SpaceX has a track record of collaborating with various U.S. military and government agencies. This collaboration includes a wide range of activities, including numerous launches within the framework of the National Security Space Launch Program, satellite development for the Space Development Agency, and joint initiatives with NASA. In 2020, the U.S. Air Force also explored the military potential of Starlink. During a significant live-fire exercise, Starlink satellites played a pivotal role by establishing communication links among widely dispersed military assets across the United States, contributing to the successful interception of a drone and a cruise missile. However, this is not a smooth path for Elon Musk, as Musk's collaboration and the Pentagon contracts have not escaped the attention of U.S. lawmakers. SpaceX is a prime contractor and a critical industry partner for the DoD and the recipient of billions of dollars in taxpayer funding. It poses great grave national security risks if DOD contractors are able to independently act to abrogate their provision of services. Five U.S. Senators, including Tammy Duckworth and Elizabeth Warren, said in a letter to the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin. We are deeply concerned with the ability and willingness of SpaceX to interrupt their service at Mr. Musk's whim and for the purpose of handcuffing a sovereign country's self-defense. They also said that in Ukraine, Musk's intervention did not stop the war or prevent Ukraine from attacking the Black Sea Fleet. Earlier this month, a missile strike hit the Crimean headquarters of the fleet and according to Ukraine, killed 34 Russian naval officers. In any case, this is just a one-sided view of a part of officials and all these opinions cannot deny the benefits that Starshield or Starlink bring to the U.S. military, especially when the U.S. military is investing billions of dollars to build its satellite constellation. The Pentagon's military satellite contract with SpaceX is a significant milestone that propels this project forward. Starshield targets a type of satellite network unlike any the military has built before. Therefore, the Pentagon truly needs to learn from experts in this field, such as SpaceX. And certainly in the future, there will be more collaboration between the two parties. Once Starshield proves its capabilities through initial missions, other national agencies in the U.S. will likely show interest similar to what Starlink has achieved. Ultimately, the initial success of Starshield will serve as a driving force for the advancement of other competitors in the market. Additionally, Washington will actively invest in projects related to the development of military satellites for both government and private entities to avoid SpaceX's encroaching monopoly. This is also a significant step in furthering the distance between America's leading position from the rest. In any case, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. And for that, we thank you so much once more and we hope to see you again next time.